Stig Manager's labeling system offers a simple and flexible way to filter and organize your view of asset data in a collection. Once you've labeled the assets in your collection, users will be able to filter their overall view of those assets from the collection dashboard by selecting the filter button, clicking on the label they want to see, applying that filter, and now their view of the asset data will be restricted to just that selected label. You can select more than one label at a time by selecting labels here and hitting apply, and you'll see these assets uh, either have the red team or the blue team label. Assets can have more than one label, uh, and you can also export metrics pivoted by label uh, using the export metrics uh, interface. And these metrics that are exported will be filtered uh, based on the set of active filter filters you have uh, applying to the dashboard here. If you, if I go back to my overall view here with all the labels, uh, you can also navigate uh, from a the top level by label here. So you can see I've asked Alice to look at these machines and I can see where they stand here. You can also filter your view of each individual grid wherever you see a labels column. You can click on that column header, select the uh, label you want to look at here, the labels, and your view will be trimmed accordingly. These label filters are also available from the uh, collection review interface, and I'll show that here. You can see here, I can load my data here and then trim this interface to show me, say, just my databases. So now that we've seen how you can filter your view of asset data in a collection using labels and filters, uh, how do you apply labels? Uh, labels can be applied by owners and managers from the Manage Collection interface. From the Labels tab, you can create new labels, like let's say there's a Bob, and I want Bob to have all of the same assignments as Alice. He's backing up Alice. So I can open up the uh, Tag Asset interface here. I can filter my view to just show me Alice's boxes here. I can select these and send them over, save. And now you can see all of Alice's assets also have the Bob label now. The tag asset interface uh, also shows you a little more information about uh, your assets, like the stigs, uh, the number of stigs and the uh, which stigs are applied in a pop-up here. You can filter this view. So here I'm looking at my database label and I want to see what other assets are databases here. So I'll pick my Oracle and Postgres uh, database digs here and see uh, there's some assets that are not tagged with database. I can select all those, send them over, save, and now I've got a bunch more assets marked as databases. Asset labels can also be applied by opening up the asset properties window, uh, pulling down the labels menu and selecting the other labels you want to apply to the asset. Select a few more there, save it. And now you can see that asset is labeled with those labels.